everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make another card using the November stamp of the month called You Warm My Heart. So this is the stamp set. I'm going to use the coffee cup and a couple of the other embellishments. I'm also going to be using Yuletide borders, the stitched brackets, some glitter paper, the gold foil papers and some of the Jingle Joy pattern papers along with Scarlet and Evergreen and White Daisy cardstock. So let's get started. The stamp of the month, you can purchase this for $5 with any $50 purchase during the month of November. And if you're a VIP, you can get it for free with any $50 purchase during the month of November. So I'm stamping out the coffee mug, coffee cup in um, Evergreen ink and then I'm going to clean it off with, with my stamp chamois and then I'm going to stamp it again in scarlet ink. I'm going to do some layering so that it's a multicolored coffee cup. Then I wasn't sure if I wanted to use scarlet or if I wanted to use black so I'm stamping everything out and once I start trimming things out and layering things then I'll decide what colors I'm going to use. Okay so I've got black, evergreen, and scarlet. And then I'm going to stamp the lid in black and I'm going to color that lid in with some of the uh, tri-blend markers. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp the sentiment, You Warm My Heart, in evergreen ink and that is going to be cut out using the bracket, the stitch bracket then cut. And then I'm going to stamp my um, poinsettia leaves in multiple colors because I'm not sure exactly until I see it stamped out I'm not sure what I'm going to want to use so I'm just going to stamp them all out in uh, evergreen scarlet and black and then decide and I can always use these other images the leftovers for another card later on I like to do all of my stamping first. And then the last thing is the candy cane. I'm stamping that in scarlet. Okay. So now I'm going to color in the lid using the tri blend markers. And I'm going to speed this up super fast. I'm doing a, a little bit of shading. And the easiest way to do that is start with the lightest color and then go in um, from the edges with the darkest color and then bring it in with the medium and then blend everything together with the light and just go back and forth. And then I decided that the evergreen uh, poinsettia leaf uh, or poinsettia image was going to be the one that would work the best. So I'm coloring that in really quick. I'm not doing any shading because it's a pretty small image. So I've got that all colored in and then off camera I fussy cut everything. Okay, so now I'm going to layer my scarlet glitter paper onto some double-sided tape. And I'm gonna do this before I run it through my Big Shot with the thin cut so that I'm basically creating a sticker so that I can layer the scarlet glitter paper on top of the gold glitter paper. It just, uh, using the double-sided tape makes it a whole lot easier and it sticks a lot better than trying to use glue. So I'm going to run this through and I'm going to go back and forth to make sure everything's cut because there's a couple extra layers there for the, the thin cut to cut through. And then I have my image and it's kind of still solid um, because I have to poke all those little bits out with my um, little piercing tool. So now I'm going to cut my sentiment using the stitched bracket thin cut. And then I'm all done with my big shot. Okay, so off camera I poked out all those little bits using the piercing tool and it's time to start building our card. So I've got a piece of white daisy cardstock and I'm cutting it at five and a half inches and then I'm going to score it at four and a half inches and eight and a half inches. 
and that's the basic size of an A2 size card. And then I'm going to trim off that end. So from the score line to my trim line, it was two and a quarter inches. And then I'm turning it around and then cutting off a quarter inch so that um, that can accommodate my fold. And then I'm just folding everything together. So that's the, the basic mechanism of the trifold card. So now I'm going to cut my pattern paper and I'm going to leave a white border around everything. So I'm cutting my um, inside pattern paper at three and three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter inch. So that's going to cover that inside panel. And then I'm going to cut my outside panel at five and a half inches by two inches so that I can scooch that center bit over and make it look like one complete piece once it's all folded together. And then I'm going to layer the uh, gold foil paper on top of the evergreen paper, but I'm just deciding how big I need this piece to be. So I'm taking my uh, fussy cut image and I'm kind of measuring it and just figuring out um, what size I need to cut that green cardstock at. So I decided on two and three quarters by three and a half. Because then I'm going to take the gold foil paper and I'm going to leave a border around that piece. So I'm going to cut this piece. And the first one, I realized I didn't cut it wide enough, so I goofed that one up. So now I'm cutting it a little bit wider. I didn't check first. Measure first, then cut. <laughs> so that second one worked, and I can use that other one on something else. So, okay, now I've got all my pieces kind of layered together and figured out. I'm making sure that I like the way that looks. Okay, so now I've got this uh, Yuletide border piece and I'm figuring out what sizes I need um, to be able to put that down. This card, you have to think a, a bit about the different layers and you have to think ahead before you start adhering. So I cut one of the little, uh, I guess it's a snowflake image for the front of the card, and then I'm figuring out what size I want for the inside of the card. So I'm just kind of setting things down just to make sure I like the way they look. And then I'm going to trim this um, inside piece down at about four inches. Okay, so now I've got my gold cardstock and I'm just going to trim that so that it's just a smidge smaller than my die cut piece. So I'm bringing in my guillotine trimmer just because it's a lot easier on the blade um, using the guillotine trimmer than on my Fiskars trimmer. This uh, glitter cardstock, it, it chews up the Fiskars blades pretty good. so. This is kind of just a, a guesstimate and eyeball sort of trimming, so I, I didn't need exact measurements, so that's why it's just easier to use the guillotine trimmer for those bits. Okay, so now we're ready to start adhering everything down, so I'm going to put that first piece of the Jingle Joy on the front of the card, and I'm deciding which way I want it, to, which direction I want it to go. And then I'm going to put the inside piece down. Okay. And then I'm figuring out where to put my die cut piece. So I'm peeling off the uh, protective coating of that um, double-sided adhesive. And I'm layering that on top of my gold glitter cardstock. These images look so pretty in real life, layered like that. 
Okay, so now I'm going to put the longer one on the inside of my card, and I want it to be right in the middle, so I'm using my Versamat and the measurements to line that up. And then I'm going to put the other one on the opposite side. So when you close the card, it's going to look like a continuous piece. Okay. And then I'm going to layer the uh, gold foil piece on top of my evergreen piece. I'm starting to get some dimension on the front of the card with that uh, layered glitter. So to get that to stick, I need to um, pop it with some foam tape. So this is the thin 3D foam tape. And I'm going to put that just on one side of that panel because the rest of it hangs over. And so I'm going to place that down just on the left panel. Okay, so that's the basis of my trifold card. And now I'm going to start assembling the coffee cup. So I've decided to use black and then I colored that center piece in um, with the tri blend marker in red. I'm going to glue that to the I'm kind of paper piecing here. And now I have to figure out my different layers before I start actually attaching them to the card. So I want that candy cane to be sticking out from the top of my coffee cup. So to be able to slide that candy cane in, I need to place my foam adhesive just on the edges of the coffee cup. And then I want my little uh, poinsettias to be layered as well. So I want one of the poinsettia cutouts to be kind of behind the coffee cup. And then the other one is going to be kind of in front of the coffee cup. So I have to put that one down first. And then I'm going to put my coffee cup down. And then before I put the lid on, I'm going to pop that as well. But before I actually attach that, I need to slide the candy cane in. So I'm figuring out where I want it first. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to slide the candy cane in. Okay, I think that'll work. And then I'm going to put the lid down. And then I'll add just a smidge of glue just on the tip of that candy cane and attach it to the lid of the coffee cup. Okay, and then my poinsettias, I need to pop them because they're going to be in front of the coffee cup and kind of hanging over the edge of it. So I put that down and then I'll put a drop of glue underneath the little bit that's in front of the cup. Okay. All right. So then the inside of the card, I'm going to pop my sentiment with some thin foam tape so that it will be able to be on top of that layered glitter image. And we'll get that down. Okay, we're getting there. All right, now I want to use some of this uh, gold embellishing thread and I'm gonna stick a little tangle of thread uh, next to or underneath um, the little poinsettias. So you just um, make a couple loops and then add some uh, a glue dot or two and then you poke it in there using your piercing tool. And the first time it didn't work but I just kind of poked it in there and got it to stay put and then you just fuss with it and make sure you like the way they look. Okay and then the finishing touch is some of these gold glitter gems, they're going to be in the center of my poinsettias. There's a lot of texture and interest on this card, so that's my finished card. So all of these supplies are currently available in my online store. The URL is in the upper right corner of your screen, and I'll make a list of everything with links in the description below. 
I think this turned out pretty. So I appreciate you watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.